The last time the Jills played at Harrogate, the game ended like our previous result on Friday at Priestfield. Gillingham will need to have an improved performance today against the Sulphurites if we were to hold on to that last playoff spot. And away day up in Yorkshire is our focus today here on German Jills. Welcome to the German Joe Show. I'm going to be your host, Reese, to take you through every step of today's game on this Easter Monday special. Uh, we're playing Harrogate Town today, so any Jills and Harrogate Town fans here, thank you very much for stopping by on this episode. Our sponsor is CNA Building Products, and if you have a building project going on at the moment and you're a Jill's season ticket holder, you can use the link in the description down below. Look at their catalogue and any products that you end up buying, you can get 10% off your order. Adam and Luke are on Easter Monday duties today, so there will be no correspondent and no Luke's 11. However, we do wish everyone here a happy Easter at German Jill's. So let's go straight on to the fan zone. If you'd like to be part of the German Jews fan zone, you can use our WhatsApp in the description down below and send us your videos and comments. Hi, Reese. Been here. Reese wants to say here versus Harrogate. I think Jules are going 2-1. I think Josh Andrews and Ollie Hawkins will score. Lost case, Jules. Uh, yeah. We always hope you're well today. The result in Harrogate Town is going to be a, hopefully, a 3-0 win to Jules. It's going to be Mahoney, Hawkins and Andrews off the bench. Up to Jules. Also Jules. Good afternoon, Reece. Ben here, just arrived at Weatherby Road this afternoon's game at Harrogate Town. Hope you are well and hope you've eaten lots of chocolate over the Easter holidays. So, my prediction for today's game at Harrogate, I'm going to go for a 1-0 deals win, Ollie Hawkins to get us a winner. But, fingers crossed for three points and Los gets deals. Let's head over to Weatherby Road for today's live match reaction. Los gets deals! So we're about to get underway here at Weatherby Road. A big shout out to our sponsor, CNA Building Products. A link to their catalogue can be found in the description down below. Um, and uh, yeah, big achievement today for Maxime. He goes into seventh all-time appearance list for Gillingham. So uh, I think it's 396 appearances. So that's a real achievement when players of clubs are always changing all the time. It's great to have someone who's a long-term uh, servant for your club. So uh, congratulations to Maxima. And finally, if you see a couple of flickers in this video, sorry that the, the recording software is a little bit iffy today. So if you do see that, I apologize. Anyway, let's see if we can get the three points away at Harrogate today. That's good work by Jadim. Can we get the ball in play and create an opportunity here? The ball is still in play. He switched over to the centre. Can Mahoney take this down and create some magic himself? He's got laps in the overlap. He's going to take it. He'll surely take the shot, Mahoney. He does take the shot on. It's a decent save by Belshaw. It was really good play in the end by Gillingham. And actually, it all started from that left-hand side with Lapsley. Um... No, not with Lapsley, sorry. It's not, I think it was left-hand side. I couldn't see it was Williams, maybe. He put the ball across. Lapsley, the overlap it was, and then Mahoney went to go himself. We know he can score with his left foot. It's a good save. Well, I say a good save. It was one you expect Belshaw to make. Nonetheless, it's a shot on target, and Gillingham passed the ball around nicely. It aims 11 and a half minutes old. Not a bad start. Harry, I've got a corner on the right-hand side. It's their first one of the game, actually. It's going to be an in-swinger from the right side. Can Jill's get this away? It's headed towards goal. It's bouncing around. My goodness me. Gillingham just about got away with that. It looks like it was Morris who managed to get the save. God, arguably, Harrogate had the best chance of the game so far and should have put that in the back of the net if it weren't for that uh, save by Elon Morris. It goes towards the goal and it's been headed away. Can Jill's get this away? It's a volley in the end by Thompson, punched away by Morris. Come on, Jill's get this one away. Can we build a counter-attack? No, it's going to go to the centre circle. And I think... That's going to be the end of the attack. But wow, what a hairy moment for Gillingham there. So we nearly um, put, <laughs> can see one, which would have been a real sucker punch. Um, I think we'd end the highlight there because it looks like Harrogate aren't going to create anything from this. It's a long throw from Hutton. No, he's taken it short and said to Mahoney. And Hutton's obviously there in support. But Mahoney's going to deliver it himself. His left foot it goes to the box. Can Jill take it and get a shot on goal? There is a shot on goal, but it's blocked. Can Jill recycle it one more time from Mahoney? Surely let's give that to Hutton. He's got to take it and get the ball into the box first time he does. It goes to the box. Headed towards goal. Is that in? Surely. Yes! And we score! The Jills have got it initially from Lapsley. It was a header and a great save from Belshoy. He pushed it onto the bar. But as a result, that it fell kindly for Lapsley. He got back up, headed it back into an empty net. And Jill's just before half time have managed to go one nil up away at Harrogate look at the Jills fans there in this what well, looks like a new stand actually for uh, for Harrogate to house all the away fans there's quite a few there I've really just noticed that now but Jills through Lapsley have gone one nil up I'm really happy for Lapsley I'm happy that he scored he's overdue a goal he's managed to get 
that one. It's a good ball in for us. Look at this work from Mahoney. Uses his, uh, his, his sort of peripheral vision to pick out Hutton there. He puts a decent ball in, actually. I have to say, it's a good header initially by Lapsy. Decent save by Belshaw. Went straight back into the path of Lapsy again and puts it in the back of the net. And Jules are one nil up away from Rome just before half time. And that is half time. Jules are one nil up. And uh, we have no report today. So we're just going to go straight over to the second half. <clears throat> so we're about to get underway for the second half and of course I follow has a thing going on where the graphic is stuck over the top of the, the actual gameplay and it really bothers me this kind of stuff the graphics don't need to be there just get rid of it and uh, there's no visual at the moment but might as well use the opportunity to give a shout out to our second sponsor which is Viper Golf and if you use the code GG5 in the uh, uh, in the description down below you can get 5% off your next order of any retro golf gear Anyway, let's see if this does come back. And when it does, we'll be watching the game and hopefully we don't miss a goal. Thompson standing the ball for Harrogate on the left-hand side. He's going to do the one to the box. Can Jules get this one away? They do. And uh, it's going to go all the way back out to Thompson. He's going to try and read it one more time. He's got uh, Mahoney to beat. He does beat him. He goes to the centre. And it's gone to the back of the net. And it's a goal and equaliser for Harrogate, I think, through uh, O'Connor. has managed to get his head and put it in the back of the net. And it's such a shame because Gillingham, in the first half, has a great momentum going forward. And it looked like we might be able to put away from Harrogate. But it only takes uh, this momentum from Harrogate to get back into the game game and they found it I've got to say since the start of the start of the second half Harrogate have been the team going forward and looking more like the score and the end product is that they found a goal through O'Connor it was a good ball in from Thompson the second half uh, after second uh, trying from the initial free kick Jill's defense has not been great they've not been good moving forwards and it is cost us as Harrogate do equalize anyway Jill's got it all to do to get back into this game or at least get ahead of this game it is currently one all Harrogate taking this round quickly. It's going to be a shot from distance. Oh, it just goes over the bar from Thompson. I tell you what, he scored 12 goals for Harrogate this season. And you can see the confidence through that he emanates. If he's going for shots like that, which seem of just like second nature, he tests it down well, gets a lovely connection on it. And you know what? If he gets that on target, that's even though it was in line with um, Morris, I still think that's quite a tricky one to save. Anyway, Jules is going to make three subs out to try and get back in, in front of this game. Andrews is coming on McKenzie and Clark. Let's see if that makes a difference. Uh, on the 64th, 5th minute. Oh, it's a really poor pass by Jules and Marston. This could be through for Harrogate. And Jules got to be careful. There's a shot on goal. It's in the back of the net. It's put in the, in the back of it by Daly. And Gillingham have really shot themselves in the foot. It's a Marston with a poor pass. And it just feels like what Morecambe were doing last week. Giving the ball away really easily and needlessly going behind. It's a real shame. And Jules have got such an uphill task to do now. I can't quite believe that. It's just, uh, I, it's just so... Poor, it's the poor vision, the poor execution there from Masterson. It just was not. Oh, I'm, I'm almost speechless for that. And it's just such a such a shame because it's moments like that that kind of epitomise our season, both in defence and in attack. And it's just not great. My goodness me, I don't know. That is really poor from Jill. It's one of the worst goals we've conceded this season. Two one Harrogate. Oh, there's going to be Harrogate through again. And on that, well, Harrogate, Harrogate really in the attack here. I mean, the third will be that, be curtains. And it goes across the goal. And it's in the back of the net again. It's that guy, Daly and Gillingham have just fallen apart. Absolutely fallen apart. And this, and it, it's absolutely speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. It's really poor from the Jills. Harrogate has taken their opportunities well. And it's been, do you know what? It's been all Harrogate this half. And, you know, and it's, They've done well to be in this position, well to get on the front foot, but my goodness me, have we helped them out? We're just all over the place. We're leaky all over the place, and Gillingham have been pretty good defensively all season. They've really let themselves down in this half, and that is really awful again. Really poor defensive work, and and that could be our season over, in, in, really. <laughs> Considering right at the start of stroke half time, one nil up, look promising. Give it another 20 or so minutes. And we're now 3 1 down, and it looks like the season's going to come to a close of a horrific away defeat at Harrogate. 3 1. Oh, good work by Harrogate, and they've managed to put the pass through. This could be the fourth from March, and this will be really put it to bed. It's a decent save by, uh, by Morris in the end. And uh, for, for, I mean, actually, he's been kept in play, actually, by Hutton. But I've just got to say, while the game is played, Jules have had absolutely nothing in the second half. We've barely broken the surface of the, the territory of the Harrogate side. Like, really, we haven't been anywhere with any threat. Nothing. 
going into their half in the second half. Really, it's been so woeful. I just it's indescribable how woeful it is moving forward. This we resided to the fact that after the third goal went in. We were, uh, we're not going to get anything from this game. As actually, I say that, it's uh, Jules with a little bit of charity. This will be the first... Mo no, here we go. Same again. It's been like that. Well, actually, that's probably been the second best of mo motion forward for this half so far. It's been terrible. I'm going to stop talking because, yeah, it deserves, doesn't deserve any more of my, uh, my, my, my volume at all. Anyway, 3-1 Harrogate. It's a ball for if Harrogate, they have another chance. They just shot. <laughs> oh, what a goal that is. Oh, man. And if it gets bad to worse, it's an absolute... Is it, is it Cornelius who put that in the back of the net? My goodness me. What an absolute belter. But uh, for, uh, <laughs> for what I've got to say one thing, though. Gillingham did make it a little bit easy for him. But my goodness me, what an absolute finish this is. On the volley, I mean, if Glenn Morris was in actually the right position as well, he's still not saving it. It's an absolute rocket. Oh, it's Muldoon, sorry. Mistake. It was Muldoon. It wasn't uh, Cornelius. I mean, oh, I mean, Harrogate scored four goals in a, in, in a half. I mean, when's the last time Jules have done anything like that ever? We don't do, I mean, apart from Ding's goal this season, we've had nothing like that, really. What an absolute thunderbolt. 4-1 and uh, it's all over. Harrogate are coming forward here on this left-hand side. They're going to get a fifth, Harrogate. My goodness me, it's a great chance. There's a Odo's on the ball. <laughs> oh, my God. This is a thumping. It's an absolute thumping. It's a goal from Odo. And Harrogate have scored five goals in half, absolutely torn them apart. And this is an absolute disgusting uh, <laughs> performance of Gillingham in this second half. It has been unbelievable. And I just... I said, I, well, the League Two playoffs are well out of sight now after this. It's just, just there's two Harrogate players running forward. Again, Hutter makes it too easy to come on Odo's inside. who takes a lovely shot. I'm not taking the finish away from him. He finds the bottom at the right-hand side of the goal really comfortably. But, it, you know, I, I mean, what Harrogate are displaying now is what Gilling have been lacking all season. That impetus going forward to create stuff, to take their chances, to try uh, extraordinary things. And then it's this half has epitomised the whole season of Gillingham. Season over, game over, 5-1 Harrogate. And that is full time. And it is Harrogate 5, Gillingham 1. And uh, you can hear laughing in the back. And actually, it's my partner watching television. But the most apt pieces of laughing that I could have ever had on this channel because it's so accurate about those last two goals Gillingham have, uh, have scored, I've conceded. And uh, yeah, there we go again. And the whole of our season. That is, that is the worst half of football I've ever seen in a very long time. It's Tim and Clemens' worst half of football since he's been uh, Gillingham uh, head coach. Un unbelievable. And that is, uh, that's our season over. I can't see anything back from this now. And congratulations to Harrogate that that was an excellent half and uh, yeah you deserve all three points and <laughs> more absolutely brilliant from Harrogate really poor from Gillingham and um, by the sounds of it looks like we'll be playing Harrogate next season anyway there's no reporter thank goodness for that we are just going to end the video there happy Easter everyone from German Jills and uh, yeah see you in the next video